Hey guys, uh, we have got the new update for the OnePlus 3D and it is the open beta 4 uh, right here you can see so I'm just quickly going, going to install it and I'm going to show you how you can install it because I got few comments here and actually it brings uh, new changes here, so many new changes here you can see the all new launcher, redesigned app drawer and I guess that's the same uh, what we have OnePlus launcher 2.0 I've shown you previously right now you can see uh, I'm on open beta 3 and what I'm running here is the new OnePlus launcher I guess they should be same already have shown you before to that how it was looking and some new changes we have uh, added gaming do not disturb mode and some secure box for file encryption optimized touch latency that's the main phase actually you know when you reboot a device uh, in case you have 3 and 3 d if you're just going to click and reboot I'm just quickly showing you here and they have some bug fixes so you will see all these things here what has been fixed what has not been fixed so we're going to get our device back and we will see how you can install it so guys this video is going to be a bit longer because I'm going to show you how you can actually do that thing here so first off uh, you guys need to connect to the Opera VPN here's the Opera VPN so you can see the device is booted and I'm just quickly you can see that's the touch latency system sometimes not taking the password immediately so first you guys have to connect to uh, the VPN using the Opera VPN and select the Germany location so first let's connect and take the backup uh, in case you have open beta then you can use this OTA method otherwise in case you are on the official base you guys have to use ADB side load I've shown you many times how you can connect that so we got the update now let's quickly go to the section here and uh, on the system update so it may happens I had a trip this time and I just flashed uh, this uh, stock recovery so this build um, will fail I know so I'm just going to show you how you can fix that problem too so you guys have to re-download it so let me just quickly complete the download first so guys I missed to inform you one thing here once you see your update is started downloading or it shows the update you guys have to disconnect the VPN from here otherwise uh, there's no issues the problem will come uh, you know when you try to stall it it may fail so we got the upgrade and downloaded I'm just going to quickly reboot so guys by the meantime my 3T is rebooting so this time I don't know it took everything so uh, the same update uh, we have got here on the OnePlus 3 also on the open beta 13 so all the changes are exactly same and this time my OTA work that's great actually so you guys have to give it a try in case uh, you're able to flash it so I uh, know issues came with me because you know I used to switch between 12 and all the stuff so sometime it happens but anyways take a look on the changes here everything exactly same for both the uh, beta so you can see touch latency is gone and we are pretty much able to easily uh, get inside the phone very quickly so let's check out the build number first and I'm just going to do it here so this is open beta 4 and uh, we got the same change for both devices right here you can see uh, everything is exactly same so I'm going to use the ADB side load method here so you can see we have exactly same set of changes for both the 3 and 3D so now let's get inside and see what are the new changes for the phone for this latest build for both the 3 and 3D so the first change is we have got the new launcher and as the company said here we have got the new launcher for the uh, all the new launcher at the support for shortcut for 7.1.1 the same I have shown you guys previously a few days back how you can install it so this is with the new launcher installed and exactly they have the same version you can see I have installed using the APK everything is exactly the same we got the same everything here is the new launcher but we have installed using the APK uh, which was leaked a couple of days back not based days back actually yesterday I have did shown you so all things are same and uh, you guys have to do that way so this is the first change and the next is the redesigned app drawer that we see this thing uh, redesigned UI for the launcher setting everything has been re redesigned here and few lot of questions people have asked how to change wallpaper for the lock screen you can see you just have to come here and you can eventually change the lock screen wallpaper and we now have the quick pay option especially for the India because Samsung pay is already launched so so guys this option uh, still is there but I'm not able to open it so uh, maybe I have to uh, I'm not able to see it here um, anyways uh, this option has been added so once I will use that thing I will let you guys know the next change is uh, added a sta status bar icon options to display real time network traffic so you have to go inside this status bar option inside this customization you can see there is a display network speed if I just make it close to here you can see it shows 0 by 0 kb per second and uh, just quickly show you if I download something on the play store let's see what does it show so it shows you can see how much of the kb per second you are getting so it shows exactly the network speed you can see what you are seeing here if I'm just downloading and we have the new change here further added gaming do not disturb mode so you can see 
you guys have to come inside this advanced option under this gaming mode you can see there is a new block all the notifications lock buttons so that could actually sometimes happens you're you know playing games here suddenly you get called so your game sometimes may you not know, reload or crash again so it's very nice move add apps for gaming do not disturb so which kind of application do you want say xbox xbox stream and just vote it's two games when you use that uh, you won't get any call and notifications now there is a new change added secure box for file encryption so this is actually a new secret folder for your phone you can see if you go inside this native file manager applications right here uh, this is the one if you just open that there is a section called secure box so first time when you open it you guys have to set the pin 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so you can add uh, so many files here so change pin now let me show you how you can add that this is a file i wanted to do that click in the option click here you can see set as a secure once you do that your file will go inside the secure mode once you go inside this 1 2 3 4 5 6 you can see that that file is already added if you just click here you can easily uh, delete it from your i just want to delete uh, once you delete it or you can have to remove do not press on delete you have to press on the remove from the secure box once you do that it will get removed now we have the next change uh, which is actually this is called for the new improved eis thing and the improved touch latency so we have already seen how the step this uh, touch latency has been fixed it's not fixed actually it is improved and the next is optimized camera eis for video let's give it a try here and this is my one plus three what we see here and for the electronic image stabilization that will actually come up when you record videos so as of now so we cannot feel it from here guys i will personally go and try to film some videos we have to touch it so improve contact management with linking and the merge function so this should be something inside the contacts you have to go inside this contacts and i have to check it actually i have so many personal contacts so i cannot show you guys here and we have a new change called this uh, added notification denoising and we got the added automatic night mode so i have to check it out actually what is that uh, notification denoising might be some sort of notification clubbing uh, so that you can collectively uh, control some voices so you guys let me know i have to take a time so figure that out anyways i'm just going to show you what is that night mode so if you go inside this setting and try to uh, you know find out uh, this uh, night mode so you can see that you're not going to see much changes here but you have to come from here under the setting here you have to just click on this night mode as you come here you can see it's turned on automatically turn on when the sun sets and turn off when the sun rises so you can see you can actually adjust the tint how much you want so that makes makes your screen cooler and the warmer i'm just going to set it here so you can see right now it is a bit of yellowish so this is the the new night mode so there it is guys these are the all small set of changes that has happened for oneplus 3 and 3d via the open beta uh, 13 and open beta 4 respectively and already i've shown you how you can install using the opera vpn and also how you can do that with the adb side load you just have to connect your phone in case you have configured the minimal adb in fast food you can install it in that day. for detail check the uh, my previous videos i've shown you on the detail how you can install it so thank you so much for watching enjoy your new oneplus 3 and 3d with the latest open beta builds and don't forget to check out the differences with the previous uh, official builds there are so many things i have covered so stay tuned guys i will talk to you in the next video have a great day